Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Warhammer news video. As per usual, if you like these videos, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and drop a comment down below. I love hearing back from you guys, it goes a massive way to help the channel too. And without further ado, let's crack on with it. So, in the UK, there are, of course, a whole host of places where you can buy your Warhammer goodies from, whether you're buying from Goblin Gaming, Element Games, GamesWorkshop.com, the Warhammer stores, or even most local independent toy stores also generally stock a range of Warhammer goodies. But as of tomorrow, that is the 22nd of May, there will also be Game. That's right. Game, the video game retail specialist, which has quite a lot of stores, are going to be stocking some Warhammer goodies. Now, don't get me wrong, this will not be every game store. This is actually going to be a select few. So these are going to vary from places like Redditch, they will be East Kilbride, Burton upon Trent, Nottingham Vic Centre, Merry Hill, Doncaster, Plymouth, uh, Bristol Merchant Street. There will be also some of the games that are in Sports Direct, such as Watford, Crew, uh, Swansea, Clandidno, and Salisbury, as well as some of House Fraser stores, such as Oxford Street, Cardiff, and Bath, will be stocking a bunch of stuff. There are a few other stores as well that will be stocking it. I haven't got the full list, but that's the ones that I know of so far. Now, you might ask what type of thing are they going to be stocking, and why would you want to buy it from them? Now, they are going to stock a whole host of stuff. So they already stock for Space Marines adventure games, which you can only get from game. So there is Space Marine Adventures 1, and then there is also Rise of the Orcs, which was the second one, which was released last Christmas. And then they also stocked the Space Marine Heroes Seasons 2 and 3, although Season 2 you can't get hold of anymore because uh, it's out of print. But they also did those, which were the blind box Space Marine Heroes that you could get. Um, and stuff like that so some really good stuff reason you might want to buy from them though is if you are a video game player as well and you have some old xbox one games that you do not want anymore and you don't play you could trade those in towards your warhammer goodies or if you've ps4 and stuff like that if you wanted to as well of course for the ps4 players so you have a good choice of stuff that you can get, and you can get them cheaper. They also do a reward card system as well, so you can earn points for everything you buy and everything you trade in. And they also do, I think they do a paid version of a membership as well, which gives you boosted points on everything you buy and trade. So there is a way of getting extra out of it and saving yourself some money in the long run. Now, the type of thing they are going to sell is includes the list of paints and tools that are, is up on the screen now so you've got things like Mornfang brown mccrag blue raw flesh lead belcher corax white which is always very very bloody handy uh blood angels red from the contrast range as well as ultramarines blue skeleton horde and stuff like that as well as having certain paint sets so 40k paint set see age of sigma paint set as well as necrons and stuff like that and a handful of brushes that are going to be available they will also be stocking a whole host of minis as well, which is damn good stuff, in my opinion. So, let's go through this. So, you're going to be able to get the 40k Elite Edition if from there if you wish to. It will be the same price as it is everywhere else uh, through any of your Games Workshop places, uh, unless they discount them. You will also be able to get things like the Night Perceptor Canis Rex. As well as start certain start collecting boxes such as Tau Empire, Adeptus Mechanicus, uh, or from Age of Sigmar, Slaves to Darkness, Seraphon or Sylvaneth. You will also be able to get things such as Lady Alinda, which is a fantastic set on its own. You will be able to get the Ossiart Bone Reapers, Mortec Guard, Space Marines, so things like the Devastator Squad and the Primaris Eliminators. You will also be able to get things like certain uh, so Adeptus Mechanicus, Skitari, Box of Citadel Schools if you didn't pick up Mortal Realms or anything like that. And you'll also be able to get a few other bits and pieces. You will also be able to get the Adeptus Mechanicus Iron Strider. You will be able to get Chaos Space Marines and Space Marines Dark Apostle. You'll be able to get Death Rattle Skeleton Warriors. 
which I believe is the older set and not the newer set, uh, unfortunately. You will be able to get Orcs, uh, Tau Empire v XV88 Broadside Battle Suit, and a whole host of other bits and pieces such as the Warhammer Underworld's Diachasm Box. The Warhammer 40k Recruit Edition will also be available and then certain get started areas and of course Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormstrike. So you can get a lot of bits and pieces to get you started in the Warhammer field if you wish to. Uh, entirely up to you. You can save a bit of money by training in your old video games of course uh, or just earn some reward points but it gives you an extra option of where to go to get yourself some Games Workshop stuff if you are in one of the locations. If I can get a full list of locations I will post it in my Discord server um, but for now thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye now.